guy, Ferrari Simmons. Man, finally, my guy pulled up on me in Atlanta. I'm here. T Rail, how's it going, sir? Man, it's going good, bro. I'm feeling I'm happy to be here for real. No, nah, we we've been chapping it up um since the first conversation I, I had with you on my IG live. Um and you were talking about we were talking about the clothes that you wear and yeah. um <laughs> you being from Topeka. Topeka, yeah. Kansas. Yeah. I never forgot that because I've never met anybody from Topeka, Kansas. Hey, you met one right in the flesh right now, bro. Right straight from the country. T Rail is in the building. Who is T Rail? Man, T Rail, I'm T Rail. Uh, Big humble cat, you know, from Kansas. Eager, aggressive, especially with his promotion, and hustle. I right, man, I'm just a great guy. I'm a father. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just an all around. I artist. love that you're a father, and I'm gonna say this: you, you canceled on me one day, but you canceled on me because you had to do something for your son. Yeah, I always kid. thought that that was dope because I am a father of four, so I already know how that felt. Yeah. So I felt the energy. I was like, yeah, hell yeah, that's cool. At you know what I'm saying? Day, that's, that's that's all I got left. That's all not left, but like that's all I got. Period. You know that's that's who that's who that, that, I'm all they got. So when they need me, I'm all about being a father. I, my goal is to be a better father than mine was. Mm. And I, I did that times a thousand. You know. Now, um, one of your interviews because uh, I uh, myself and Fly Guy DC we did a Dirty Glove Bastard interview, and then um, right before ours came out, yours came out, and yeah. you were talking about your son. Yeah. And you were just saying that your son was down. Yeah, my um, son got cancer. So um, he still has cancer? No, nah, he's in remission now. Okay. Thank the, thank God. But, facts, uh, facts. Yeah, he got cancer a while back. He got real sick, and it kind of took everything out of me because his insurance wouldn't cover everything that he needed, like his chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. So he was he was in... It was he was in a bad situation, so I had to take like all my show money to, to pay off his medical bills. I didn't really get to do a glow up like this is my first chain. You know, this is my first Rolex. This is my I, I just got my own crib in Atlanta. You know, I had a house in Kansas. Now that he's in remission, I'm able to do the things and glow up and really come mm -hmm. out here and really work and focus. But back then all I was focusing on was keeping my kid alive. You know, that was my that was my glow up. That was my my flex. You know, I say with God and myself saved his life. Man, listen man, uh I wanna say your spirit is definitely something that makes people gravitate towards you. Do you get that a lot? Yeah, people just like me. There's some people that don't even know our yeah. music. Like, yeah, you're a nice guy, bro. Yeah, like they just love T Rail. Yeah, like it's uh, it's crazy to me. There's people that like don't even know a song, but will come to a show just because they just like me as a person. Yeah, that's because I'm I'm transparent. I'm open. I you like know, that. Uh, I'm very just humble about it like i just got a crib here and i showed off my air mattress bro like they're like oh yeah like bro i'm proud of this air mattress you know like, yeah, yeah yeah i'm proud i got a condo in atlanta you know i'm from topeka kansas i really ain't never and i ain't never had nothing i slept in cars and i was i was i was wearing the same t-shirts bro so to, for me to have a house in kansas and a crib in atlanta bro i feel like i you know i'm, I'm like one a millionaire bro i'm going crazy Okay. Uh, let's, let's let's touch the music because that is definitely how um, the buzz started generating for you. You redid an Usher uh, record. Yeah. What was the name of the Usher record? Uh, the record Lovers was and Lovers Friends. And Friends. Yeah. You redid that. Now let me ask you a question. Did you do it illegally? Did a did a did the beat that someone produced was a sample of the song? Man, I jumped on the original his beat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love. It. I didn't want to change his beat. I just love the beat. Oh, I so you wanna... redid the Lovers and Friends record. Yeah. Uh, it went up on YouTube. Crazy. And uh, you tried to put it on all social media platforms and uh, all uh, DSPs. DSPs. Yeah. And they took it down. They took it. I can't. It's still can't down. Do it. It's still down. I can't. I can't put it out, man. I, I think I tried to get it cleared. One said yeah. Some said no. But okay. I, I worked my ass off. Wanted to do it. Um, but you have shows right now because of that. Yeah. And you kicking ass on these shows and big people like Tank is bringing you out on their set. Yeah. That's crazy. It's like, crazy, brother. I don't know, bro. I just was feeling some type of way when I made Stepping. Um, but hey, I, had to, I had to boss up on people. It's a great yeah. record. It's a great record. Said, some people, they, they forget the old record here and that one. Yeah. I mean, you in Atlanta, you got to play both, actually. Yeah, man, it's crazy. That stepping, that stepping go crazy. Okay, so now 2022, uh, summer's approaching. T Rail, what is next? I got, I got a hot record with Tank coming out called Toxic. Ah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, 
it's, it's got we about to shoot the video here in Atlanta. Uh, okay, there we in, go. In a week or two. Uh, then I got an album with Derez and Sean coming out. Okay, you okay, know, uh, joint album. Yeah, joint album with Derez and Sean. One time, Derez Sean's my guy. That's my partner, like <laughs> that's my dog. Uh, and then currently, I'm working on my own solo stuff. You know, uh, I'm just trying to. I'm out to flood. This, I'm out to flood the city with music. I'm out to flood everybody with music. I just been. I've been here in Atlanta, just catching the vibe, learning the city, getting the energy, and then going to the studio every night. And yeah. it's, it's been changing the way my music is. It's coming, coming out. out. So, yeah. like, bro, you, it's a total different. T Rail is really on some big rail. You know, okay. like, <laughs> Atlanta you, turned you, me into big rail. You, know you were telling me uh, before we started that you got a new piece coming. Yeah, Winners Only piece, man. It's, uh, that's my label. Yeah, Winners so Only. what is Winners Only? Winners Only, see, it's my production company because I'm okay, going to start getting it. into movies. Okay. And I'm going to start getting in. I like productions. I love productions. So mm. I created Winners Only. And it's also a label. I got artists coming and everything. So, okay. So I got a new piece coming, man. Flawless Diamonds getting me right. Before you get up out of here, I love how uh, the Midwest yeah. is cracking out some artists. Yeah, it's our turn. I'm seeing artists, some artists come from Missouri. I'm seeing some artists come from Kansas. I'm yeah. seeing some artists come from Arkansas now. I'm starting to see a lot of artists. Kentucky, you got Jack Harlow, you got you, uh, Sleazy Flow. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people yeah, come Sleazy from the Midwest. From Kansas City. I'm from I'm from Topeka. Okay. He, he, uh, he a new artist. I rock with him. I, I'm I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get him on the record. You know, okay. we, we he was just fans. up here yesterday, so you know. I chopped it up. I chopped it up with him. I, I can make that play happen for you. Yeah, that'd be a that's great easy. look for him, Emmy, because we both cranking out of there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of lot a lot of talent coming out of uh, out the Midwest. St. Louis too. Yeah, St. Louis. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I rock with St. Louis, Arkansas, uh, uh, Nebraska's, and even Oklahoma. So like, there's there's a lot of talent coming out of there. Man, appreciate you pulling up on the kid, I you man. For having me. And you you well you more than welcome. Now we do something where we do the dungeon where you can come up here and rap. Or freestyle on the beat. So next time you come up here, I'm just letting you know I'm calling you out early. Call me out. Call me so out. So you gotta come up here and, and touch that. Come on, I'm gonna do it. I, I'm an R&B. I'm an R&B cat, but I, I get down. Okay, bet. You know the vibes, man. Rory talk. <laughs>